Hello, church family. As we share and recount the blessings that God provided to us during this Lent season, I would like to share with you the word taken from Matthew 11, verse 28 to 30. Come to me, all you are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. You will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is a powerful verse, and one that Christ shares to the crowd in Galilee. Looking from the verse itself, we see the theme of Christ inviting those who feel weary and burdened, saying unto themselves that he will give them rest. But looking into our lives, who is weary and burdened? Is it the people who are lost without homes? Is it the families who are separated from each other? Or perhaps it is those who stand tall in the face of danger, knowing that there is no hope. Unfortunately, there are too many to count, and sometimes we forget to count ourselves. As humans, we are composed of what is physical in nature, yet we burden ourselves with work, school, responsibilities, relationships, expectations, and even dreams. As a child, we say to ourselves that this is completely normal, and we lie to ourselves, saying that this will help us in the future. But we should ask, who is responsible for these burdens? Is it us or God? Sometimes we blame God for what we put on ourselves. But here in this passage, we see Christ calling those who are weary and burdened to come to him, for he will provide them rest. Christ knows the burdens that we as humans place on the world, so he is calling us to put it on him and trust him to the plans that he has for our life. For by accepting Christ, we place our lives not for us, but for him. As Christ says in Matthew 10, verse 39, Whoever finds their life will lose it, and whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. There are many of us who feel lost, not knowing where we are in our lives. But here Christ reminds us to rest on him so that we may be free from the chains that we put on ourselves. Christ continues in the next verse to say, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. As Christians, we are called by Christ to be disciples. This means we are students of his teachings and through our lives, we learn to show the love that he has shown to us with those around us. We go to Sunday school, we go to Bible studies, prayer meeting, church service, and many more events. But do we attend these events because we know everything? Or do we attend because there is still much to learn? St. Augustine famously commented, For understanding is the reward of faith. Therefore, do not seek to understand in order to believe, but believe so that you may understand. Life in the 21st century is very relaxing when it comes to gaining knowledge. It used to be that when, uh, when you were to figure out something like what age George Washington was when he crossed the Delaware River, you would have to find a book in the public library about him. But thanks to the access to technology such as Google, I could find that he was 44 when he crossed the Delaware River in less than 10 seconds. However, there is much that we do not understand and cannot simply Google when we learn the word. For the word of God takes time and dedication to learn. For without the spirit guiding you, it is nothing but words on a page. That is why it is said by Paul in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 16 to 17. What we have received is not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what as God is understand what God has freely given us. This is what we speak, not in words taught us by human wisdom, but in words taught by the Spirit, explaining spiritual realities with Spirit-taught words. As disciples of Christ, we are subjected to learn from His teachings and use it in our lives. But such teachings are not without His own burdens. For, for Christ says, Take my yoke upon you in order to learn. As Christians, 
we cannot be the same as everyone else, for we as we are set apart by following the Christ, by following Christ, and by the cross that He redeemed us by. This means we cannot do what we know is a sin, even though those who are who are around us fall into temptation. However, Christ does remind us that we will find rest for our souls because His yoke is easy and His burden is light. As Christians. We are redeemed from the burdens of the world when we choose to let him guide our lives. We are healed by his everlasting love, for a Christ is gentle and humble in heart. He knows what our weaknesses are and presents us opportunities to overcome it and enter his fold. There are many of us still broken and empty inside, but we should remember that Christ makes us whole, and without him, we are nothing but broken vessels that the devil tries to repair with the temptations of the world. We, the world may call you names. It may make you feel worthless, but know that Christ has plans for your lives. And by accepting him, you replace the price tag that was set by the world with a price tag that cannot be paid by anything else but the blood of Christ. As God tells Jeremiah in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. As we continue this Lent season, let us put our burdens and worry on him so that we may find rest. With Christ, there is hope and healing. And all we need to do is put our trust in him and accept him as our Lord and Savior. May this season of Lent fill you with more understanding of who Christ is and help us remember what he means for our lives. Thank you.